Well, the sun came up on day number two, and the boat started heading out eh, almost as uh, soon as it got light, one boat after another, heading toward the next destination, uh, which is a pretty good distance. It, uh, the destination is Big Sabine, about halfway between Navarre and Pensacola Beach uh, and Santa Rosa Sound. So the boats went out one by one, and I just sat there at anchor watching them go. At first, there was practically no wind, so those with motors motored, <laughs> including Osprey. Uh, though I saw some dolphin, I really did, underneath that water somewhere. And of course, more participants heading in the same direction I was going. Unfortunately, we had the motor for a while, but then we got the sail. And uh, as you can see, it turned out to be a beautiful sail heading toward the bridge between Pensacola Beach and Gulf Breeze, and we're just about to go under it and come out on the other side. And if you're wondering, you know, what do you do on a sailboat for hours on end? Well, you steer, you sit over here, and you check up to see the sails. Yep, still there. Then you kind of go forward and wander about the boat and uh, and wander on back to the cockpit. And then you sit on uh, one side of the cockpit and then you, just, well, you sit on the other side of the cockpit. <laughs> then you might get into a more comfortable seat and uh, then, you know, just watch the world as it goes by. And sometimes you see something unexpected in the sky. But then, of course, what are you doing? You're basically sailing and standing up and sailing. Then you're going to sit down and sail. <laughs> and we're heading toward Little Sabine. Here you can see our uh, destination. And it's a really beautiful spot. And, of course, uh, Osprey's making progress, as I can see here on my Navionics. And finally, we get to it. And we're all pulling into the cove. Some of the boats are ahead of us, and uh, some are behind us, and some are, uh, looks like, about to cross in front of us. Oh, no. Wait a minute. We're going to have a collision here? <laughs> I don't want to wreck a boat coming into uh, the anchorage there. And, oh, good. Shh, missed him. <laughs> I guess that's pretty good. So as you can see, the anchorage is uh, actually it's a really beautiful spot on the backside of uh, uh, Santa Rosa Island. Uh, and uh, the boats are all small, with the exception of Osprey, unfortunately. I need four feet of water, so I have to anchor off the beach. But the small boats can pull themselves right up, and everybody gets off and starts to visit with each other. And somehow beer magically appears, and it turns into an onshore party. Wait, what is this? A late arrival? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this was a flotilla of small boats, a lot of them home built, and uh, this one sails surprisingly well for a bluff bow kind of boat. And of course, I had to go visit with my grandnephew, Sam, and his friend there. And then rowing back to Osprey, I had to do, you know, this beautiful silhouette of Osprey against the sky, climb on board and make myself some din din, and then prepare for sunset. There's the moon. La Luna. I swing around. There's the sunset. And so ends day number two of the Florida 120 as the sun sets into the western sky.